today I'm needle felting a little piglet. Some assembly required. So why a pig? I don't know, no reason. I just thought that it would be cute. I can add a little bit of fuzz because I, I've seen some really cute fuzzy pictures of piglets and fuzzy is just cuter, but not too fuzzy. So I'm also going to be smoothing it out. So let's see what I can do. First, I will start building the piggy shape with some core wool. I'm just giving him some shaping. He's gonna be sitting up, hopefully. <laughs> now I am adding some more wool to give him chubby cheeks. I also made some legs. They might be front legs. They might be back legs. I am not 100% sure yet. And I think he needs more snout. Okay, I think that's a pretty good starting shape. I can work with that. I spent a little extra time on internal structure with the core wool to make it a little easier later. Hopefully it will keep me from having to use a ton of my colorful wool later just to build up shapes. I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time visualizing what this guy's gonna really look like with all this dark wool. I'm gonna add a layer of this pink. It's helping to smooth it out. It makes it look more piggy and it will be easier to cover with my lighter pig colors later. Poking, 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 poking. Hmm, there we go. He does look a little more piggish in pink. Next, I will cover up these legs and see how they fit. So I'm just covering them with a little bit of this pink and yeah, they make pretty good front legs. I'll add a little more pink where the legs join his body and then get to work on his back legs. His back legs are also going to need more wool to fill in the gaps. He wants nice smooth legs, you know. Okay, now that he's looking kind of piggy, I'll start adding some pinkish, tannish, peachy pig color. Time for more poking all over to smooth them out. Now that Piggy has some skin, I will make his ears and attach them in what I hope is a pig ear sort of place. I think his nose should be a little pinker, so I will add an oval of this light pink. And I guess I'll blend a little of his skin color over the bottom because apparently just pink looks a little weird. I'm gonna add a little blushy pink for his cheeks. Oh my goodness, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Finally, it's time for facial features. First, I'll just poke with my needle to see if they're in the right place. And then I can add some black when I'm happy with the placement. I wasn't sure if his eyes should be open or closed, but my cuteness advisor said closed. So I went with it. He does look pretty pleased with himself. The next step is adding some hair. I pulled off pieces of wool and cut them in half because his hair should be pretty short. So I just lay each section where I want hair and felt a line across the middle. Then I fold it up and felt along the roots of the hair to point where it needs to go and, you know, to keep it attached. I blended in at the edges with more fiber. So I had planned to cut the hair short to look kind of like an actual pig, but he just looks so cute with hair. I seem to be having a problem with this lately. At least I have to give it a little trim so he has a better hairstyle. Next, I think he needs little feet. I'm not sure they actually look like pig feet, but let's try it anyway. Now on they go.
this part was probably the most frustrating because he would just not stay still. He was wiggling and squirming, but I won. And now he has feet. With a little bit more of his skin wool, I'm filling in the gaps between his feet and his legs and trying to make it look like his feet actually belong on his body. Now I can make his curly little tail. The pink was a little too pink and just peachy seemed boring, so I mixed them together a little and felt it kind of a snake shape, long snake shape. I felted the fuzzy end of his tail nice and firmly onto his body and then just coiled the rest, attaching as I went. It worked pretty well. Now I just have to poke a ton with my skinny needle to smooth his skin and defuzz him as much as I can. Ta-da! It's Piggy! His tail is pretty cute. So I set out to make a kind of realistic piglet and ended up with this guy. Oh, they turn out how they want, I think. But I really like him like this, so maybe my subconscious is just really powerful. <laughs> Pee! I think he turned out really cute. Not exactly how I had envisioned it. I did not picture this situation, but that's okay. Maybe he can be friends with a valentine bear. I think they would get along pretty well. Will you be my valentine? Of course! Yay! Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Okay, great! Well, everybody's happy, I guess. So, I hope that you liked this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of video and you'd like to watch more and you're not subscribed yet. You can do that right underneath the video. You can click that all notification bell so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so stay tuned. And until the next video, be awesome! And we'll see you then. Bye!